Good morning. It is December 18th, 2011. It's Sunday. It's been a long time since I've made one of these videos. Most of the videos as of late, as if you've been paying any attention at all, have been about Occupy Chicago. My affiliation with them is tenuous at best, and I haven't been able to get out there since uh, December 25th, the day after. Or the, uh, actually, I think it was the 26th. The day after, uh, or the weekend after Thanksgiving. I have uh, created a new blog. Some of you might have already discovered it. Others, well, I'll be putting it in the information on here. What can I say? Most of what <laughs> most of what I have to say about the occupation is contained within the blog, so it would be kind of pointless to rehash it here and now. Occupy Chicago, as of right now, is in the middle of a debate as to whether or not they should acquire loft space to hold the General Assemblies inside during the winter. Winters in Chicago are harsh. If you're prepared for them, they, however, are not deadly. They are incredibly, incredibly uncomfortable. Uh, back in... Uh, well, back in the 80s, <clears throat> excuse me, back in the 80s, I worked security for a couple of different firms, and uh, it was here in Chicago. It's one of the reasons I left. Uh, one of the jobs I had was as a supervisor over at uh, Jewel Foods in Melrose Park. And part of that job was to check the uh, reefer units, the refrigerated truck units. They were parked up against the warehouse. There were days in uh, January and February especially when the temperatures inside the frozen goods trailers were actually warmer than it was outside. And to walk, to keep from freezing, to walk from trailer to trailer uh, while jotting down the temperatures to prove that you checked them, and yes, I understand the necessity of this. The main way of staying warm, keeping your hands warm while you're riding, was to position yourself under the diesel exhaust of the generator unit that sits at the nose of the uh, trailer. So, being out in Chicago's winters is not something that's fun at night, especially when it's sub-zero weather. I've done far too much of that. Back in the 90s, I had another job, didn't last very long, where I was supposed to stand outside at night in the cold with a very flimsy uniform jacket that was not even up to, uh, let's put it this way, it wasn't, it was, um, they called it a winter coat, I would have called it a uh, springtime fall coat, and of course, if you're working security, you have to be in uniform, and, uh, uh they had a guard shack, all right, it was a, uh, plywood box resembling a uh, when the guard stands outside of Buckingham Palace with of course no heat, no electricity and uh, I was expected to be out there for hours on end my, my entire shift was not a fun time so when the folks at Occupy Chicago debate to move inside. I do completely understand that. There's been some other criticism of the Occupy movement here in Chicago. And as I've already, in my own inevitable way, <laughs> taken time, I may or may not get into it. The one thing that has to be remembered about Occupy Chicago, even they forget, they did Occupy 
their pad for a little while. And over time, the federal police over at the Federal Reserve Bank, as well as the Chicago police, kept moving them off. As you know from my videos, when they tried to take up a spot in Grant Park, they were arrested. The uh, occupiers have been routinely uh, harassed by the Chicago Police Department. Not to dismiss it, but that includes the theft by the Chicago Police Department of their mobile food stand because they put a tarp over it to keep it dry and according to the Chicago police that constituted a tent which was illegal they confiscated it and they threw it in the back of a garbage truck and crushed it again you have to wonder what is going on here Occupy Chicago does not have the numbers that New York has, does not have the numbers that San Francisco has, does not have the numbers that L.A. has, and yet they're still out here. There's a reason that Occupy Chicago doesn't have the numbers. I'm not quite sure what it is. I do believe it's a sociological reason. It is also a political reason. This is Obama's city. And... The occupiers are seen as being anti-Obama by the mainstream Democrats that have run Chicago into the ground. And therefore, the occupiers are not welcome. So it's a duality going on there. There are other reasons as well, in my opinion, but I will at this point keep them to myself. It has to do with the makeup of Chicago the city that works. Well, thank you very much for your time. I hope to hear from you. And uh, as always, may your God go with you. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye for now.